Okay, so you're taking notes in OneNote and you want to add a task and you want that task to appear in to do. Well, you can do that, but it's via Outlook Sync. So it takes a little while to come through, but here's how you do it. So I've got a page here. This only works in OneNote on Windows and it's a specific version of OneNote that used to be called OneNote 2016. That's now just called OneNote, but you can't do it in OneNote for Windows 10. Microsoft are merging those all together in one thing that's just called OneNote, which should be a lot simpler once they do it. But in the meantime, you need to make sure you're using the right version. And the version you know if you're using the right one is it's got the sections on the top and the pages down the side. The version it doesn't work on is anything where you've got the sections and the pages down the left-hand side. So I'm in this one page that I've just called Task Sync, and I've already got two tasks here. One that does have no due date and one that's due today. And if I jump into Outlook, you can see it's syncing via Outlook, which goes into my task list in Outlook, and then ends up in Microsoft To Do, because we know Outlook syncs with To Do, if you watched my previous video on that. So it takes quite a while to sync through all the way through to To Do. So even though I did these two tasks before I started recording, you can see one is test task sync with To Do, which is the top task. And the one that says make video has synced through to Outlook, so it says make video, but whilst it's in the middle of syncing, it says there's just a task title that says click the OneNote link in task body for details. So in any Outlook task that you put into OneNote, it'll add a link back to the page so you get all the context. If you've made lots of notes along with that task, it's really powerful that you can get all of that in together and hopefully Microsoft makes this easier and easier to link your notes and tasks together. But for now you can do it, it just takes a while to think through. So if I click that icon, we can jump back to the page and it highlights the thing that we've just done. If you want to make a new task, it's Outlook Tasks, not a to-do tag. That just makes a little checkbox on the page and you can check that it's done. That won't sync through anywhere. So if we need to do Outlook Tasks, you've got a quick due date selection with whether it's today, tomorrow, this week, next week, or no date, or you can put a custom date in. If you just want to schedule something with no date, you hit that, you get a little red flag, and then you can say, uh, I don't know, what, what we're doing today. Get back to Mike about important document. Hit enter. So that will eventually make its way through to to do. If you use OneNote on an iPad, this won't work. Like I say, it needs to be on Windows and the right version of OneNote. The version of OneNote that it works on doesn't sync as quickly as some other versions of OneNote, unfortunately. So you need to wait for it to sync. It's then gonna come through to to do quite slowly. And if you've got Outlook open, it seems to be quicker. So you can see the one that we've just added is here. Click the OneNote link in the task body for details. That's not even synced through to Outlook yet to get the title, which is get back to Mike about important document. So you can see how long it takes. It does take like up five, 10 minutes even to sync through. If we open that one though, you can see that it's the right one because when we hit that link and open OneNote, it's gonna jump us back to that page and highlight the task that we need to do. And eventually this will sync through what the task actually is so you can read it without clicking on that link, but until it all syncs through, we get this little click, the OneNote link in task body for details. And you can see how slow it is because that one that we've just added has gone in through into Outlook, but hasn't come into Microsoft to do yet, but it will do because you can see the other ones that I've already added before recording. If you wanna know how to make your life easier and your organization isn't supporting you with a change program towards modern working, then I've just launched some individually priced courses that you can afford without your organization paying and check those out at metime.thinkific.com and if you use the code social20 at checkout you'll get an additional 20% off any purchase that you want to make. That's limited to the first 20 people that use the code so if you're interested then make sure to get in fast.